and 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 to look i have two interim titles i have uh, benavides and i have fundora the tower inferno yes start to make a real money this this kid now if you go to this uh, web and 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 social media say the right file for spence if you want to go to 54 the only one you have is fundora do you oh. think without the interim title it will look at fundora because dan rafael he put that this is the right fight in 54 if he cannot make any more 47. you know what he did the aerospace Bing. i like okay. it okay all right i see what you're saying now, i see what you you're saying think it, it, you said the, the interim you, you talk to to everybody that you listen to us in this morning do you think that he will pick sebastian fundor if he doesn't have a title I mean, for Sebastian Fundora is coming off knocking out Lubin, who at the time was a top 54 pounder, and is coming off of beating a common opponent with Spence. So I think, yeah, it would be a potential opponent because they're both on the PBC side on top of that. So I do, does him having the WBC interim help? Uh, sure, but I, I don't think it helps as much as you think, I'll be honest with you. Well, that is because the who, who else would he fight? If, if there was no interim, who would he fight? Who? If if if, there, if 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 Fundora didn't have the interim belt, if he was to move up to fifty four, who you saying he would have picked ahead of him? Well, he would pick any, anybody else besides Fundora because it's the most risky fighter that he have in the list. If you go to the top ten, he would pick any one of the top ten besides Fundora. Why would she fight Fundora for only money? And the money be much less because on let's say. You, you need to pay fight a, a pay-per-view fight mm -hmm. so how you can say 12 round for what for wwb no <laughs> no nah, i i see what you're saying i i, I want to get into another no I, I i know that you you know that what i'm saying i want to hear from you that if i'm right or wrong I, I, listen, I, I, I disagree. Uh, again, maybe this is something that the media and, and the promoters we differ on. I don't like the interim belts because I feel like they cause confusion for the casual fans. And there's already enough belts just within the sanctioning bodies. There's four belts. If you can't get the WBA, get the IBF. If you can't get the IBF, get the WBC, so on and so forth. There's already four belts. Now, on top of that, you want to give each of them an interim title? That's eight champions? I feel like it's a bit excessive, but that's something that you looking at it from a business perspective. I'm looking at it from a fan's perspective and what's fair to the fighters, you know, to the champions, what's fair to them. Listen, you won a champion, you won a title. Now there's somebody else in your division when Canelo's undisputed, but no, no, he's not undisputed because David Benavidez got an interim. It's like, I don't know. Like it, I, us, us in the media, we don't like it because we feel like it causes confusion. And and the fighters hate you for that, for each one of you because he cannot make the money that he deserves. Look, I, I listen. I've interviewed plenty of fighters. I've never heard any of them complain about that. That well, uh, ask uh, the, us in the media. I ask the A fighters, not the B fighters, and you will see. I'm waiting one year. I'm waiting two years to get a shot to a title. Yeah. No, but that that goes to my. And point. you have the excellent fighters body. that you deserve it. But that goes to my point that the sanctioning bodies a lot of times play with the mandatory. They a lot of times they they they'll look and find a way how to like Jamal Charlo. He worked his way to the mandatory position to fight Canelo. Then Canelo gets the franchise title. Same thing with Devin Haney. Canelo works his way into the. Uh, I mean, Devin Haney works his way to the to the uh, mandatory position. Then Loma gets the franchise title. So if these sanctioning bodies were to just enforce their mandatories when they're due there will be a lot less complaining and things will be a lot more fair